No, you're lucky. It usually smells like a sweaty, smoking sumo wrestler, but, <laughs> but it's not so bad now. We have a very special episode and a treat for you because right here I have a very affordable van that I've never seen in person before, but Larry, the owner, uh, our friend Larry brought I'm it back. back. <laughs> you're back with another Japanese market camper van. Yes. I don't think I can pronounce the name. It's a Mazda Bongo Friendy free top, auto free top, four wheel drive. That's a long name. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a mouthful. <laughs> so you bought it in Japan, right? I did. And you shipped it over here, imported it. Uh, and in this video, we're gonna walk all the way around it because it has a lot of like little quirks and I also wanna take it for a drive. Yes, absolutely. So for me, uh, so the blinker is on the right. Yes, on my it's right. so common. So it's, uh, <laughs> You're I'm, gonna I'm be flipping the wipers flipping all the, the time. Flipping the wipers on and the blinkers. <laughs> Okay, so what, what what do we open first? Uh, well, you know, um, <laughs> the only thing I got here is a gas cap, but let's go to the back okay. really quick because this is kind of interesting. Uh, it, this is kind of cool. Oh, and there's a little gremlin in there. Oh, hi, gremlin. <laughs> <laughs> That's this? my son, okay. Monotel. Okay. <laughs> so the cool thing is that these flip up. This is a very, um, I don't know in the US if it's common, but in Japan, it's very common. I think the, the Toyota um, Land, Land Cruiser, Cruiser has had that. that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so it's quite a common thing. And then, um, and then these just, you flip this down and it's like a real third row seat. And then- Or when, you can lay down. Yeah, so this is designed as a bed and I'll show you that later. I'll keep okay. this down. Okay, so my, my first impression, I've never seen this in person, one of these before, that because you don't have a big hood in the front, it's, it's really like a minivan, but it's also mid-engine, right? Yes, yes, but it's just like a Lamborghini. There's a lot of space here. <laughs> It could be like a suburban size yes. vehicle. Yeah, almost. yeah, yeah, yeah. When these are up, this, these seats can slide completely forward and you can roll a motorcycle completely in. <laughs> all right, so. let's open the side doors. I guess. Okay, yeah, that, that's where the, the party starts. First of all, I noticed this. What is this hanging down? That's a curtain what? and it's automatic and you can control them from here. So you just hit the buttons here. No. Yeah, and so uh, that's when you want to camp and you want you know, no light and privacy. They actually work really well. You know what? I recently... And you can do one side or the other. <laughs> and it's fast. Dude, I, I've only seen this on a $3 million Prevo motor coach. Well, this is kind of similar. I mean, it's <laughs> like a Lamborghini. It's mid-engine, you know? I mean... Unbelievable. It's, it's Right now they're a bargain, but they won't stay that way. This is a footrest. And then um, if you slide it, if you slide it this way and slide it a bit forward, it's designed to turn into a seat. Although can I, it's- Can I try? Then the reason why you do that, this, <laughs> this is a table and it's a table there too. Oh, I see. So this is a table and then you can sit here and have lunch with each other. Okay, I gotcha. So you. while you're doing your weekend activities. I gotcha, very, very cool. So, All right, so what's next? So okay. we should pop the, the top. Yes, it's so, powered. It's powered, it's electric. All right, let's show it It's not the, the fastest. <laughs> So this is reminding me of like a VW van. It is, and um, I, we had um, a bunch of VW T3 campers in our family, but uh -huh. um, the problem with those, especially now, is they're not very reliable and they're very expensive to fix. Yeah. So, uh, and then they, they weren't as easy to commute in as this car is. This car drives a lot better than T3 does. Uh -huh. um, and then the cool thing about this is this actually pops up. If, let me get over there. If you push it up, it stays up. And so you can oh. have space to stand in there you know, it's, it's just easier to... Uh, yeah, and climb in. Yeah, and you can climb in. The cool thing is this thing will um, unzip. And so if you unzip it, it kind of acts like a balcony. But if you bring this down, there's a hatch um, here. Uh -huh. And then you can't tell, but that's a sleeping area up there. Yeah, so while you're up so, there, you can actually... <laughs> and this is where you can, you know, if you want a drink or a beer. Oh, here. Somebody's down there, they can pass up the beer. I, literally, I think that's what it's designed for. <laughs> So, uh, I need a beer, pass one up. Okay. You know, how expensive or inexpensive can this be? So, this one, as you can see, it, this, this will fold completely flat. Um, I've got, um, I think I paid eight-ish. It's hard to say because the yen is a bit weaker now than it was. I think I paid about eight or 85. And then, um, but with the delays, uh, it ended up costing a bit more to import it into the U.S. Uh, well, yeah, there's shipping charges. Shipping, so you tell us like charges. an extra two thousand. Yes. No matter what, when you yeah. buy it to get it over, yeah. but then, you know, the port shipping and that was like another three. So, 
maybe 13 I'm in. All right, so the engine actually lives under here, so it is a mid-mounted engine. But this is kind of a cool, like, little console. And look at this. Three cup holders. They really thought about their drinks. And you know, when I got it from auction, they were yeah. kind enough to leave the ashtray full of cigarettes. Really? So it was so lucky, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I emptied it out right before. But it before. doesn't smell right now. No, but... you're lucky. It usually smells like a sweaty, smoking sumo wrestler, but <laughs> but it's not so bad now. All right, so how do we get to the engine? So th th that's a good question. It's going to be a surprise for both of us. Okay. <laughs> this comes off because I'm kind of keen to see what's in here, too. Oh, my gosh. I didn't know it was going to be disassembled. <laughs> well, it's easy. I mean, um, it, it doesn't take much to get it off. Let's see. Oh, there you go. Aha. Uh -huh. So this is the kind of a, well, the passenger side or the driver's side. Uh, yeah, yeah, it. exactly. So if you're in Europe. So what is this engine? A four, it's a 2.6 liter turbo diesel. Okay. And they're usually dead reliable, except if you don't fill up the, um, the uh, radiator cool, cool. fluid coolant correctly. Okay. And um, what happens is the high spots right next to the, the cylinder head. Uh -huh. And the air will accumulate there and then it'll overheat and kill it. And so, um, so you have you to be make very sure. Careful with the yeah. Coolant. Okay. Yeah. There's, and the, these are sold like, um, or these were sold in Europe as Ford Fritas, but in England, they imported lots of them, thousands and thousands of them from Japan, just mm -hmm. like I did. And, um, it's like the cheap gateway camper in England. And so there's like bongo jamborees and stuff. And they, if you need to know anything or buy anything for these, you can get it out of the UK. Usually they have everything. Larry, thank you for letting me drive. It's my pleasure. My goodness, this doesn't happen every day. <laughs> okay, so the engine is running. You know, you cannot hear it here. It's, it's not so bad. It's well insulated. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, power windows. Yep. This thing is just, it's like screaming to jump off the line. <laughs> it's all got that. the torque. I think, it's like torque and, I think it's like 130 horsepower, but, but the torque, torque is very high. Yeah. So it when is. you're driving it daily, what, what kind of efficiency do you think you're getting? I think I'm getting between 21 and 24, and I haven't really had a chance to um, to test. You know, I, I think I've gone through two tanks of fuel. Okay. So for me, uh, so the blinker is on the right. Yes. On my it's right. So common. So it's uh, <laughs> you're I'm, gonna I'm be flipping the wipers flipping all the, the time. Flipping the wipers on and the blinkers. <laughs> and that interesting thing in Japan, it, it's like that, but in the UK, yeah. the, it's it's the same as the US. The, really. The blinkers and the uh, wipers are on the same side as the US. So, Have you uh, taken it off pavement yet? I I've only taken it on some minor dirt roads. Okay. So I haven't really had a chance to test it at all. So. Uh, so it is a permanent four-wheel drive. It so, is, yeah. it is. This is really more like a, a dirt road and snow kind of thing. It's, I, it's, um, it doesn't have low, low, low uh, range. Low range. But, but it does have a hold button. So um, when you yeah. hit the hold button, I, I think it's on that side. You might see it, yeah, or maybe it's I on there. It, there it is. It. So that'll hold it in a gear. In the gear I'm in. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right, let's test the highway yeah, capability. stop it, man. Let's Where go. You? you know what? Uh, so that. That's almost 4,000 RPM. Yeah. That's revving high. Yeah, we're probably around 55 right now. It's at, we're at 80, we're like 53. Um, on this, because of the bigger tires I put on it, um, the cheapest way to get a two inch lift kit. Is <laughs> the bigger, bigger tires. tires. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you um, know what, I didn't see any really small. No, it's clean. Nothing. It's yeah. very clean. Yeah, yeah. So I've been very happy with that, because I, I, <laughs> I told you before I had a Delica, yeah. and the Delica I had in Japan was just stinky. It smoked a lot. and smelled inside and so I just wasn't happy with it and it was slow to be honest a great four-wheel drive car but it man going you have to have a strong tail with it on that. this one you'll this will cruise at 80 all day long it's a great cruiser yeah so. and it's also the suspension is pretty cool yes it's yeah, not yeah, very yeah. bumpy so you've had a lot of Japanese vehicles, including many K cars. Is this one of these? No, this is not a K car. This is actually a real car. <laughs> and it, but this is my favorite so far. Um, I didn't expect it would be as easy to drive as a daily as it is. Okay. And then, um, and it's just, it's a fun cruiser. It's very relaxing. The automatic makes it really easy to drive in traffic. So right now this is my, my current favorite car. And so I'm kind of getting rid of the fleet. <laughs> well, I, I can see why you love it because it's got space. It's got power, it's got four wheel drive. It's not very expensive. No, in no. In the big scheme of yeah, things, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And uh, I want to go camping with you now. Yes, let's go. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, there you have it. We have many more vehicles, uh, well, from Larry and also other classics on this channel. So stay tuned for a lot more. And thanks for coming by. Thank you.
Okay. 